Hey y'all, out here at the uh, 24th Annual Auto Crusade in uh, Cummins, Georgia, and I got a 56 Chevy pickup truck I think y'all are gonna like. Let me get the camera turned around, we'll take a quick look at it. Tim, thanks so much for giving me some time today, brother. I'm glad to do it. Tell me a little bit about this hot ride you got. Uh, it's a 1956, uh, all original panel truck. Uh, it's in real good shape when I got it. Didn't have to do any body work. Uh, a friend of mine did the paint for me. Now you say original panel, so people understand, those are the actual panels that came from right. Chevrolet back in That's 1956. It. That's it. Really and you patched it one time. Had one patch, and uh, when we pulled the front clip off, we had one patch in the, had to do one small patch in the uh, right hand side of the cab corner. Man, that's and amazing. Where'd you find it at? A friend of mine went over to Alabama and bought it from uh, the original owner's uh, family. The original owner passed away and uh, he, he, I don't know how he came up with knowing where it was, but he finds a lot of good vehicles like that. All right. And he found this and went and got it and brought it back into Georgia and uh, he did a little bit of work to it and sold it to, to a friend of ours up in Dawsonville. He kept it a while and then another friend back up in Jasper, which that's where the guy that went to Alabama and got it from, he sold it back to him and he changed the motor out actually put a, a 350 engine in it and uh, then I bought it from him and uh, got it home and realized there's some damage to the engine so I had to start over with it. I got you. And you've been into hot rides all your life? Uh, pretty much. Yeah? Pretty much. Yeah. Had any other hot ride trucks? Yeah, I had a 59 uh, Chevrolet uh, and I, actually the, the first vehicle I ever owned in my life was a black and white 56 Chevrolet truck. Oh, no kidding. Wow. And that's why I, I painted this with black and white. I'd always told everybody that if I found the right body I was going to build one and paint it black and white, and so that's why this one's black and white. Man, it pops too. That's a great way. I love the way that you divide it. I have, it a, I have a lot of lot of compliments on it. The original was just the top part was the only thing that was painted right, white. Right, right. This one we went ahead and came down to the to the bottom of the of the windows. Right. And to me, it just it just gives it more character. I agree with you, don't yeah. I? I think it just makes it pop. I mean, it's black and white, and that, right. those colors pop anyhow. But I did. I agree with you. No, I think that was a, a great add to it, and it's nothing custom. Right. It's nothing too crazy yeah. to where you change the truck. You don't see many black and white, you no. know, and but that was an original color combination in '56, right. but just a little bit different. Because, like I say, I bought one. I was 14 year old, bought it from my cousin, paid 125 dollars for it. Holy smokes! And it was probably as straight as this truck, right. but one, you know, one of this caliber truck, of course, right. back right. in that was in 1970, I think, when I bought it. What about up underneath? What's going on underneath there? It's pretty much stock. Uh, I put uh, I put a 700R transmission in it, you know, and uh, but it's on the original frame. Uh, I changed the rear end out when we when I did the work. It's actually a rear end out of a '57 car, 355 gear out of a '57 car. Okay. And uh, but as far as uh, under underneath, it's uh, it's not slicked out any. I drive the truck. Just got back off of a 700 mile round trip, and uh, so I don't. You know, Were you up to the Tri Five Nationals? Tri Five Nationals. Wow. It actually won. Uh, Best paint and custom out of that no show. No kidding. Yep. I bet you're proud of that. Oh man, I was yeah. I, I was shocked. Because they I, had like a 3,500, 4,000 cars. 2,800. 2,800, yeah. Mm -hmm. And I, I was definitely shocked when they came to me and told me that they'd picked it. Yeah. And uh, you know, it's not a judge show, right. but still, it was picked by uh, what used to be DuPont Paint. You right. know, it was, it was picked by all, I think, Exalta is the name right, of it now. Right. And, yeah. uh, and that's that's what to me was a great honor yeah and it well deserving you know like i said i mean um you can tell that, that you you don't have a half a million dollars in that truck no but no. what you do see when you see that look at this truck is a really cool driver that's it. it's nice and you you can take it to cruising go mm -hmm. to shows pick up some awards and still enjoy it day yep. in and day out when i when i started the truck uh that was my remark to the to the guy that painted it for me he, he disassembled it put it all back together and everything did a great job painted it did a great job and I told him when I started, I said, I don't want a show truck. Right. I've, had, I've had trailer cars, right. trailer queens. Right. I don't want that anymore. I, w I want a vehicle that I can get in and, like you say, drive the cruise in and have people turn and look and say, nice looking vehicle. Right. And that that's worth all the work. And you nailed that. And tell me what size tires and wheels you're running on it. I'm running the 20 by 8s on the front and 20 by 9 and a half on the back. And what wheel is that? That's American Racing wheel. Oh, very nice. You got kind of a custom touch going on in here. Yeah, I took the original seat out and actually ordered this seat. I, I wasn't, uh, I, I couldn't make, I had, my, I had in my mind what I wanted. I don't like the high back seats in these trucks. Uh, so I got on the internet and just kept going through, punching up truck seats. And finally, a place out of California called California Highback is the name of it, had this seat. And you could actually call them up, tell them what you wanted as far as finish. 
they'd send it to you and then you know you, you had to assemble it right they tell you it fits right in the truck no don't believe that it never happens <laughs> right right so you know there's some drilling had to be done you know and all this but they send the frame that uh, once you get get the frame mounted inside your truck then everything just bolts to it okay and it's very easy to set up right. uh, i got a low car uh shifter in there uh got the tilt i did it column with a flaming river uh steering wheel all right got benny gyre uh what gauges I got uh, Dakota Digital. Oh, they fit the truck with oh, yeah. all those Yeah, guys. it's all, you know, uh, fits right in the, the, the no cut and put those in, I love them. Right. Uh, you don't have to do anything, just take the originals out, put those right back in. They are a good company to yeah. deal with. They'll, they'll work with you like they're nobody, oh, yeah. you know what I'm saying? They'll work yeah. with you like they're the guy next door, That's but That's they're it. a big company. I talked yeah. to them in Louisville and I was blown away by what yeah. they were. Yeah, send it, we'll look at it. We'll send you a bezel, right. we'll see if it'll fit. Yeah. You know, and I was it. thinking, you're Dakota Digital. Yeah. You know, the other guys aren't this way, right. so. And it's got an American uh, auto wiring system on it. Okay. Uh, you know, and that works, that works good. You know, it's real simple on it. Uh, everything. Roll up know, windows? Yes, sir. I left the roll up windows because of having to cut the door panels. I won't do that. Those right. are too good, you know. Right. And I almost did it. I'd had to put a custom the custom panels, minor original panels. Dash has not got a pad on it. It's painted a lot of people. I have people come to me at just about every show and say, you know, is that a padded dash? It's yeah. not. It's it's a satin finish. Right. And uh, we put the leather uh, up in the roof, head, head panel. On there. Yeah, that's you know they're small. They don't go all the way across. You know, it's stock. Right. But uh, everything just painted basically painted right. painted shiny shiny white and satin black and you know the funny thing about the roll-up windows are is that you know uh when power windows came around well man that was the coolest oh, thing yeah. in the world yeah. right you wanted to have them these crank up windows suck yeah you know, i want power windows but now that crank up windows are pretty much gone yeah everything has power windows on it now i'll be honest with you crank up windows are cool yeah you know a couple cranks your windows down how yeah. cool is that the one thing i did do i took the vent windows out of it put solid glass in yeah uh, so that was uh that was a, a little bit of a chore, and uh, I don't know that I would do that again if I was I was getting ready one. to say, that was probably an idea that you thought yeah. would, would look cool, but by halfway through it, you were thinking, I well, don't know. It, it, it's, it wasn't that hard to do, really, but getting it to where, getting them adjusted where they draw it down, yeah. that was, that's the problem. Well, and the thing is, you started out with such a solid truck. Right. You hadn't right. fought much, I wouldn't yeah. guess. Everything had been going pretty simple. There's no yep. major fabricating, yep. none of that. And then you decide, well, you know, let's do this one little right. thing. Next thing you know, now you're into major customization yep. to make it work. What's going on up under here, Tim? Okay, I got a uh, 350. Uh, it's out of a 72 Nova. It's four bolt main. Uh, been bored 40 over. Got the Concept One pulley system on it. What do you think of that? I love it. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, uh, good I, folks, and the product's good. Very good. Very yeah. good. I've, I've actually had several other of their products. You know, the other the pulley systems on other vehicles. Right. And uh, if I had another one in a day, I'd go right back to it. Yeah, I agree. That's why I, they support me, but I support yeah. them too because oh, yeah. I believe in the people in the They're product. They're good guys. Good yeah, people. Good for people. sure. Sheila's not bad either. Let's not forget <laughs> that. All right. <laughs> right yeah. She's a good girl too. There's yeah. one girl over there, oh, yeah. guys, and she's she's on top of it. Yeah. But you didn't do anything custom or anything like that underneath there? No. No. Uh, I, got the, I got an aluminum radiator just for the cooling oh, system. Yeah. Uh, you know. That's uh, an upgrade though. Oh, really, yeah. Yeah. It's a Griffin aluminum. It's nothing fancy. Uh, inner fenders are just like they came from factory. Uh, nothing, you know, no, no panel custom work panel work right. or anything underneath the hood. Again, it's a driver. Yeah. You, you open the hood, it's clean up under here. It looks good. Yeah. The motor looks yeah. good. Sitting well, I, I did I did move the battery uh, just to give it the cleaner look on the firewall. Right. You don't see any wires on the firewall. They're all tucked away. Everything's, uh, you know, hidden on that. Uh, just for the look, just to clean everything up. Right on. And uh, the engine compartment is very, very workable. Uh, batteries underneath we moved it down underneath hooked it on the inside of the frame it's on a on a tray that we can you can reach up a couple wing nuts loose them up and drop it down to get to the battery oh very necessary nice. now again i know i've said it several times guys but this is this is just a really nice truck it caught my eye it's a good show here there's top quality cars and i was looking for four or five to shoot and i was telling people well i like that black and white truck i just keep <laughs> came, kept coming back to it you know what i'm saying um not that i discounted the first time i went by because i really yeah. smoked it over but um, yeah, I just kept coming back to it. So Tim again, man, you did a beautiful uh, job. I really it. appreciate it. Sure. No problem, man. So there you go from the 24th annual Auto Crusade, a 1956 Chevy pickup truck. Hope you all have enjoyed it. See ya!
Hey y'all, don't forget to visit scottydtv.com for more cool content and an easy way to search the hundreds of videos I have posted. Either click the link in the description or the logo at the end of this video.